This is part one of an installation guide for Guide in the Side open source guide making software developed at the University of Arizona. This is the installation guide for the Brave because it provides an overview of installation requirements if you're unfamiliar with working in a Unix environment. If you'd like to try your hand at installing Guide in the Side yourself but aren't very familiar with servers, this is the guide for you. I also want to clarify that this guide is only for those who will be actually installing the software and maintaining the server that Guide in the Side runs on. Your librarian guide creators actually don't need to know any code, anything about how the server is running, anything like that. I'm Lord Magnuson, and I'm a systems coordinator for the Private Academic Library Network of Indiana. You can contact me with any questions about this video at LP Magnuson on Twitter. The basic environment you'll need to install Guide on the Side are a Unix-like environment, such as Linux, MySQL 5.0 or above, PHP 5.3 or above. These requirements are found in the install.md document found in the install zip file downloaded from the Guide on the Side website. You'll also need shell or SSH access to your server. FTP only access won't work for the kind of setup needed for Guide on the Side. If you don't currently have access to a server, you have many options. You could go with a commercial host like DreamHost. Palni currently uses a DreamHost dedicated server for hosting its Guide on the Side applications and other applications, but if you're just starting out experimenting with open source software, a virtual private server is probably sufficient. You might even be able to get it going with a shared hosting setup, which would limit the kinds of customizations you might be able to make. With either plan, you can create unlimited MySQL databases. LAS Host might be another option. I'm not as familiar with LAS Host, but they seem to meet all of the requirements, and they are a hosting provider specifically for libraries. There are lots of other commercial host options out there, just make sure you can create MySQL databases and you have secure shell access. If you need to register a domain for your guide on the side website, those typically cost about $10 to $15 a year. A domain registry I've worked with before and can recommend is called Hover. Other tools that you might want to have installed before getting started, you'll need a Telnet or SSH client, so for PC, PuTTY, um, Terminal on a Mac, which if you have a Mac you already have Terminal, um, PuTTY is free open source. You'll also need a text editor that is good for working with text files and software files, such as Notepad++ or Text Wrangler for a Mac, and then you'll also need FileZilla for uploading files through FTP to the server. In order to install Guide on the Side, you'll need to know a few basic Unix commands, such as unzip, which unzips zip files, cd, which stands for change directory, which allows you to basically navigate folders on the server, ls, which lists the contents of a directory, and chmod, which allows you to modify file permission rules, and in the case of Guide on the Side, it's basically going to allow you to open up a folder so that librarians can upload images for screenshots for their guides. You also need a sudoer account, which is basically an account that will allow you to run certain commands in Unix that not every user is allowed to run. And this is where things can get a little bit tricky because with great power comes great responsibility. A sudoer account can run things that can be kind of dangerous. So um, tread carefully, you may need to type sudo and, and log in as a sudoer in order to run certain commands during installation, but just use that sparingly and always double and triple check what you're actually running as a sudoer uh, before you run it because this can be a little bit dangerous. In part two of the installation guide, we'll go step by step through all of the instructions for installing guide on the side. So once you get your hands on a server, come on back and learn how to install it. 